Paul, many congratulations. Incredible scenes at the end. Unbelievable night. Our support again were out in their hundreds supporting the boys and uh, not the way we wanted to win a game of football going into extra time and penalties and uh, it wasn't a pretty game but it never is here but uh, by God that group stood firm against everything what everybody said is our weakness they've stood up there and put the bodies on the line they've been absolutely top trumps for us and they've uh, sent our fans away with uh, a nice uh, fixture coming this weekend against Gunthorpe I remember standing on this pitch in September talking to the manager and he just watched his side get beaten up and giving away some soft goals but didn't look like that was ever going to happen tonight. You defended so well. We've moved on so much. The group is a fantastic, it's one of the best groups ever. Um, their desire to put the body on the line, the work, their intelligence. It's, uh, it's, it's just an unbelievable turnaround at this football club from where we was when we played Alfreton the first year we was here to where we are now and that's uh, the football club and the gaffer and the players what we brought in everyone buying in and it's just uh, great for us to be at this end of the table and uh, with a massive game Saturday and I expect we'll take a massive following again on the weekend Did you think Nilna was fair after 90 and then 120 minutes? I did I, I, I didn't I mean Cam made I think one decent save set and half don't get me wrong, there was blocks and stuff, but the ball spent most of the time in the air. So it's defending first contact and second contact, and they dealt with it brilliantly. And then when it went to penalties, remember what happened at Colville when you were in the driving seat and still managed to lose it. Was there any doubt in your mind that you'd get the job done tonight? The boys work really hard every day when you, they're, they're always taking penalties and free kicks. So, uh, and you knew Big Cam was going to come good. Um, he always is a, a top-class keeper and uh, you knew he was going to make a big save at the right time and then Mickey steps up, shaking like a, a dog having a poop-poop, but uh, he gets there and he does the job, to, puts the ball away lovely. It's just a fairy tale end for, for Mickey to come on and, and grab the, uh, the headlines. And I know nothing's won yet, but what an incredible sight at the end. Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Just to see him on the pitch, see... Before the game, all the lads just went, oh my God. The fans, what we have at Boston, are, are the best. And uh, the players, when they saw them out in the droves today, it, like, you could see like it made it big game time for them. And we need them again Saturday. And now you could have 1,500 at Glanford Park. It's going to be some occasion. It's going to be... Uh, we're going to go there. We're going to play our, play the way Cully sets us up. We've got a, a decent pitch. A good footballing team we're playing against. So we'll do all our work on them again. And uh, we'll get them in training. Uh, after a long night tonight, get them refreshed, refueled, and uh, we'll give it a right good go. I guess it can work one of two ways. The um, the legs might be a bit heavy, but as Boston saw a couple of years ago after winning at Kidderminster, that first game can't half carry you a long way. Momentum, isn't it? It's all about momentum, and that's what we've got in that dressing room at the moment. And uh, as long as uh, they keep believing, uh, it'll take us a long way. And you lost the manager to a, a red card towards the end. You and Joe had to steady the ship for the last five minutes. The lads did it all. They've, all we are is just voices that they've grounded and done it. They're, it's all pre embedded with what, what we expect from them. So, uh, no, a uh, bit, bit uh, farcical, really, what happened, but that's football. 